Hi, I'm Zach Belcher, and my chosen topic of research was discrimination based on accent and dialect. To be clear, first of all, accent and dialect are not the same thing. Accent is how you sound versus someone else speaking the same language, and dialect is similar, but you're not talking about a different dialect until you start to incorporate different words. Simple example would be if you say soda instead of pop or buggy instead of shopping cart. Now, while this type of discrimination may not seem as extreme as discrimination on the basis of race, religion, gender, or sexual preference, it's still a very real thing that occurs and affects a lot of people in more extreme ways than you might realize. Now, while researching this topic, I realized that there were two sides to this coin. On one hand, you have discrimination against non-native speakers. On the other hand, you have discrimination against people who speak the same language as you as their first language, but they have a different regional dialect. So first of all, we will talk about discrimination against non-native speakers. In 2007, Laura Frumpkin published a study where she and her colleagues created a mock trial. And at this trial, there was a defendant who had supposedly robbed a home and inflicted a non-fatal gunshot wound on the person inside. So for this trial, they created six different eyewitness testimony videos. They used three people in these videos. It was a person of German descent, a person of Mexican descent, and a person of Lebanese descent. Each of these people created an eyewitness video with an accent and without an accent. Once these videos were finished, 193 undergraduate psychology students were invited to watch one of these videos at random. At the end of their viewing, they, they completed a questionnaire that showed researchers how credible they thought the eyewitness testimony was. So at the end of this experiment, the results showed that all three accented videos were relay, were rated as less credible than the non-accented videos all across the board. Even further than that, the Lebanese accented video was rated far less credible than the Mexican or German videos. So this shows that not only do we discriminate against foreign accents, there are certain accents that we discriminate against to a higher degree. Now, there are several theories as to why we do this. One of the main theories is that foreign accents are harder to understand. So since uh, our brains have to do extra work to process this speech, we kind of shift the blame to the, of that extra work onto the speaker, and therefore we bias against them. Another theory is that it's not necessarily the aesthetics of the accent but our awareness of the country of origin. So basically, if you have an unfavorable view towards a certain country, then you are going to bias against people with those accents. Something that doesn't make the issue any better is we seem to remember less of what a foreign speaker says. That's because when we speak to them, we rely on our expectations of what they're going to say rather than what they actually say to form our memories. You might think that our discrimination against foreign speakers is more extreme than the discrimination we place on other native speakers, but that's not necessarily true. In 2015, Stefan Heblick, Alfred Lamelli, and Gerhard Reiner published results from an experiment where they took several German men and they invited them to complete cognitive tasks and they received rewards in a monetary form for their completion of these tasks. Once this was completed, they invited other participants in that they called experimental participants. They invited 342 of these people in and they pit them against the original language informants. So the experimental participants were to complete the same exact cognitive tasks, but before they did so, they were offered the chance to cooperate with the original language informant or compete against them for a higher monetary reward. Time and time again, participants chose to compete against those 
with other regional dialects, but they cooperated with the ones who had the same in-group dialect. This goes to show that discrimination against other regional dialects affects our choices even when foreign speakers aren't involved. Moving forward, I think we need to do more experiments to continue to identify the different ways we discriminate against each other based on our speech. If I were to do an experiment of my own right now, I think it would be interesting to look at brain scans uh, that show different types of brain activity, um, basically showing how we respond to accents that are different of our own. In the meantime, I personally recommend that everyone seek out interactions with people that speak in different accents. It only takes a few minutes of speaking to someone with a different accent to better understand the way they speak, and that could vastly improve our view of those people. Thanks. And I will be posting links to both of these studies in the description if you're interested in checking them out for yourself.